Once you see the bird, you want to play the bird. Hi there, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and uh, I featured a moonbird in last week's video because I had no idea that this ukulele would turn up. This is the cedar bird. The cedar bird has been this long elusive rare endangered bird that seems to only be seen once a year in Hawaii at the ukulele site or at various international dealers for a brief moment, never to be seen again. Um, yeah, but we have one. And I can confirm, having just played this ukulele for the first time, that this is every bit as good as the Moonbird. I, I'm actually blown away by how different these two ukuleles sound whilst looking really ve relatively similar and having very similar spec. It's amazing what the difference between a spruce and a cedar top really is. The Moonbird is spruce on the top. It's um, Swiss moon spruce with uh, Indian rose of back and sides. We know the details on the Moonbird. We've talked about it so many times. In fact, if, you, if you're unsure, then check, check out any of the links I put below in the description of this video. But the Cedar Bird, this is the one that people have been asking us about for the longest time. And truth be told, I just didn't think we would ever get one. This has a Western Red Cedar top with a maple rosette, the same as a normal Moonbird, Indian rose with back and sides. Very glossy and bright in this video. Sorry about that. It has a satin neck with a really nice, like a very modern U shape to the neck. So it's a slightly thicker depth to the neck with a prolonged side to the, it has a very deep neck, a U shaped neck with prolonged kind of, if you imagine the ears of a U letter, you know, there's a lot of space on the neck for shenanigans and string spacing uh, goodness. You have a paddle headstock with Goto planetary tuners. And the other thing to note about the Moonbird designs is that the body actually looks a different shape to what it is. That's because they very cleverly inlay pieces of rosewood here to just taper in the aesthetic look of the instrument. It's part of the reason that everyone loves the look of the Moonbird is because it's been so well designed and replicated here with the Cedarbird. You have a cutaway, really sharp cutaway for upper fret access and the ukulele balances so well, I'm not trying to hold this ukulele in any way at all. I'm trying to hold it completely flat, and I am. And look, there's a little bit of movement, but it balances so, so well. Um, we're gonna compare them now. I'm gonna do a strum test and a picking test. We're gonna check out the UT200 Moonbird and the UT214 Cedarbird. Do that again.
I really hope you've enjoyed today's video, folks. If you have any questions, you can contact us in store on 01202 430820 or email me alex at ukulele.co.uk. I'd be really grateful if you subscribe to the channel and if you like how I play, then check out my channel, which is Ukes with Alex. I'll put a link in the description. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a good day.